professionals in various fields are giving us their best advice. And this morning, it's all about our hair. Here are the five <laughs> things stylists want you to know. Hi, I'm Christina Moxie for Hair. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hey, I'm Melinda. Here are a few things we would love our clients to know. If you're going to invest in only one product, I definitely would buy a great shampoo. You don't want to use uh, products that have a lot of fillers. You want a shampoo that's definitely free of sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium chloride. They strip the hair of the color and you don't want to, you know, you want to prolong the life of that. If you're blow drying or using a flat iron or a curling iron or any sort of heat tool, you should use a thermal protectant. Especially if you have color on it, if you have bleach on it, you want to protect that hair. You don't want it to break. If your hair is fine and um, thin, you do not want to put your heat tool up to the highest setting. There's always like multiple settings. So talk to your stylist about what the right setting for your hair would be so you don't cause any sort of damage to your hair with your tool. Taking the time to put in a good styling product is going to help have you walk out with that same hair that we send you out with. Using a great product is going to make it look the best. First of all, Give us a heads up. If you're wanting to make a change, let us know ahead of time because it might require a lot more time. Also bring in some pictures as reference, but be realistic about, you know, if those pictures are gonna be what your hair is going to do. Like if your hair is super dark and you wanna be platinum, your hair might not do that, and it might take a few appointments to get you there. So you gotta go with what you have. You gotta work with what you have. <laughs> well, they have. We were laughing at some of the uh, woo, pictures with big, the yeah, hair. hairstyles. So the ladies have one more tip, and uh, I actually did this because Christine's my stylist, and she said, "Sleep in a scrunchie. Don't wear it out of the house. People don't wear scrunchies anymore. You know the big, you know yeah, the ones yeah. from the '80s." Yeah. So I found a couple. She said, "If you put a scrunchie in, as opposed to like the little rubber band type hair mm -hmm. hair bands, it won't break your hair as much." Um, Why do you wear it to bed anyway? I just I don't like it down because it gets oh, all okay. messy, and Got you know. It. So I put it up in a loose scrunchie, and then th that way your hair doesn't break Got when it. you sleep. So it's and it doesn't leave that kink in it as well. And hey, we're gonna do a Facebook Live at 9:30 today. So if you have any questions, anything you've ever wanted to ask your stylist, or anything you want to know about your hair or hair products, tune into the KGW Facebook page at 930. Love it. That was fun. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah.